Hi everyone, right, I'm just going to share with you these. They're like little chairs, little stool, uh, little um, miniature chairs, and I've made them from the tubing. Really easy to do. Uh, they will stand up, it's just that it's not a flat surface. And I just thought they can be. I tried that one first, and I like that one actually. I can have something coming out like the slippers or something from there. That's for other projects, but these can also be used up as well that I've cut off. And I just use the thin sticks. So, um, thrilled at those. I'm going to put them away because I don't need them, but I, all you do is you take your tubing. So I just measured, I think it's an inch and a half. Mark that off. And I'm going to need another one. Oops. So let's just measure that off so we get two the same. Oh, sorry. You can't see that. So I've measured that. You cut it with a hacksaw or whatever it is you've got to use. You can also use these sharp knives that we've now got in stock. And, and then all I did was to cut in halfway. If you look that way, it's halfway. Marked it there and there. Cut that piece out with a hacksaw and then cut that down with the knife. Cut that with the scissors to round it off. Then sanded it all down and I've ended up with that chair. Hang on. I took the pegboard, placed this where I wanted them to be and to make those, the little handles, and I used cotton buds. So I just placed the pegs where I wanted them to go and then the... Um, bent it around the two main pegs there and then the two closer pegs I be uh, bent it into the middle of those so that it was held fast and just left it overnight it gave me the shape I wanted and I ended up with a nice handle so I'm going to I've marked them all out and I'm going to do all them the same um I need to go get some more of those because <laughs> I ran out I did I, I bought some purposely for this job but I probably use them over the years because, like I say, I've been saving a hell of a lot for this project for many years, actually. So that's that. But that's uh, giving me the chance to do those. And that's that one. I'm just going to put all the oddments uh, there. Uh, now what I wanted to do is just to get rid of this a minute. Put that in there. Because it's full of dust. I found my little screw tops things as well if I want to hang anything. So that's those. I'm just going to clear this off because it is messy. When you're sewing and things like that, it gets really messy. Right, so what did I want to do next? I just wanted to do a couple of uh, pots using my clay. I'm going to take some clay out. It's still nice and fresh. Don't know how much I'm going to need. Probably not even that much. Just a piece. Soften it all up. And then I've got the handle of my uh, gavel. And I'm just going to make a... Well, actually, I need to put a little bit of plastic on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the plastic, a piece of plastic... Just cut it from a plastic bag. Uh, and that way it's not going to stick to the gavel. So I'm just cutting that. I'm going to pop that on there. And somewhere I have... I know I have... <laughs> somewhere. Oh, we'll use a bit of string. I'm not fussed about that. I'll get a bit of this cotton. Let's take a bit of cotton, wrap that around. And it's basically just to stop that from uh, sticking to the gavel. That's all. I can cut that off at any time. I'm just going to do like a little dish. So I hope you can see that. I'm just going to press that on. Not fussed about all them bits there at all. 
we'll push that on still trying to keep it round I'm going to push that down onto the deck see made it flat pull that down into place and then um, I can use my cutter what did I do with my cutter hang on I don't know got my blade and I'm gonna very just wind that on like that just to flatten it out make it as even as possible and I'm just going to mark that. Like that. Get rid of the excess. Like that. And I'm going to ease that off. Oops. I'll put that back. I would if I were you. Make sure that you've got your uh, clay even. Because it's a little bit thin on that side compared to this one. I can thin it out so it's all matching. But then I'd have to cut it again. But as I want handmade pots, I'm not fussed. That can stay as is. And then we'll leave that on a little plinth. I use these little coasters to dry. So I want another one or two of those.
Right, okay, I'm just going to share this with you now. I'm using this um, water texture and it's acrylic, but it dries clear. So it's just like a gel, dries hard and dries clear. So I've mixed that all over the beans. I've uh, used a felt tip pen to colour the beans. The eggs are not ready, they've just got the first coat on and then I'm going to put a little bit of yellow paint on and then put some more of the texture over the eggs. But there's the eggs. I think I'm going to use a different plate. Uh, I'm just trying to find something I could use actually. Something like that would have been better, wouldn't it? Yeah, I might transfer it onto this. They're fine for now because they'll dry and then I'll just peel them off. Done a couple of rashes of bacon. Well done, bacon. Like I said, the eggs are to finish and then the sausage are just drying now. Oops. So we've baked eggs, sausage and beans. So I'm just going to leave that to one side. Now, I managed to find um, a little lantern that I can use in the apothecary. And then I did purchase this, um, but I'm going to make one, I think, because that's not big enough for me. But it's um, the abacus. couldn't think what it was called then. But I'm going to show you how to make one of those. So these um, boxes and these toothpicks. And I need to, well, I'm going to, I hope, cut the end off. And it's going to take a while, but I will speed the camera up. So I do want them... Covered.
and whoop that's too small too small that can go in just there let's just get that done push that in there like that that can go in there I'm fine with that see like that something like that that'll do nicely I'm fine with that there I'm only going to do one of them that way, in that way well I'll do the other one later There we go, that's all of that. Oh. I'll do the other one off camera because that's a lot to sit and watch. But there you go, we've got that. And it does need cleaning up. I'm not bothered about that whatsoever. It doesn't bother me at all. But yeah, that's quite uh, fine, isn't it? Still stands up perfectly well. So that's another one done. Don't want that. We'll take that off and use that for something else. So that's... Um, that one, I think... I think I'm going to go fabric on that one. So, let's have a go. We're just going to... Pop it on at the back. Actually, that way. We're just going to do that. Fold that over. Like that. Like that. Um, and we're going to go back to this corner. there because they don't all have to be the same now this we just cut this down for one it's a little bit long right so I'm going to do that side first just fold that down That side down there. That side down there. And then we can do this here. And we can just put a little base on that. But if it's going to be glued to the deck, you're not going to see it anyway. So, you know, we've got a little fabric one there. And then just pop a little bit on the back. Um, what we're going to do is that. 
and hope that's covered that. Yeah, I don't want to do the back, not interested. That can just fold in the back like that. <laughs> See, and when the papers are in, which I'm going to do some now and show you what I mean. I do have some vintage paper. Well, I did have. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I've got some of these as well. I can use some of these. Things will do. You see, like these old vintage ones. And I just thought about folding them like that and into that and maybe into that and that again. And then what we do is stick them together and they can go in like that. I don't need to waste them actually. Well, no, I do like doing them like that. Just do that with them. I mean, I can colour them afterwards. I don't need to do it just yet. And because they're all different, they're going to look great in there, aren't they? Look. So, I'm just going to get some more of those because they're different. Oh, we can use these as well. There's lots of these tag things that I've got. Um, so we can fold those into three like that. See like that? Just chop them. Stick them in upside down. Glue. So, like I say, we'll fold them like that. Fold them like that. And again like that. Chop the end off because we don't need that. And then we just glue it together like that.
So fold it, fold it, fold it. Snip that. And we're just going to pop that one in there like that because they cannot be all different. See? So that's two nice little boxes. And like I say, now I can colour them. I've got paintbrushes. I can get in and out of the nooks and crannies so I'm not fussed. I like to design mine and then see what I can do with them. Because that's where my ideas flow. Well, I hope that's helpful. Please come back for part three. Um, the apothecary shop. And we'll see how we get on. Bye-bye for now.